The BMA has today launched a new report from its Board of Science called Alcohol Misuse Tackling the UK Epidemic. I am joined by Dr Vivian Nathanson, the BMA's Director of Professional Activities, who is going to talk about this publication. Dr Nathanson, why has the BMA produced this report? Doctors were saying to us at the annual meeting that they were seeing increasing evidence of liver disease and of serious harm from alcohol use amongst young people. They wanted to know how serious the problem was and what the evidence is of what can be done either individually or collectively to change the UK's attitude to alcohol. So what are the report's main messages? Well, the main message is that there really is a problem. This is not something that individual doctors are seeing, it's something that every doctor is seeing. That, that the level of alcohol use by the UK public is higher than anywhere else in Europe, uh, that that level of use is particularly a problem amongst young people who seem to be drinking excessively without necessarily realising that they are, and particularly amongst young men who are significantly drinking more than the recommended maximum levels, and that the way to deal with it is not just interference with the individual, that is involvement with the individual in helping them, it actually needs government action. If the BMA is a trade union, why is it spending its members' funds on public health issues like alcohol misuse? Well, we were set up as a voluntary professional association and it's something that we've done for over 175 years now is to look at public health and to say how can we as doctors um, change public health for the better so that we as doctors don't see so many people with acute problems and it was members who asked us for do, to do this particular work. We spend a very small proportion of the BMA's income on this work but we certainly have an impact on the health of the public. Some doctors who are worried about their jobs and working conditions might feel let down when they hear the BMA talking about non-trade union activities. What is your message to them? There's very few who actually say anything about that. Most doctors want to make a difference. They want to improve the health of their patients and they know that they as individuals can have little impact on government and that sometimes it's government action that's needed. So they feel very comfortable with the fact that the BMA spends a small amount of money on lobbying government to improve the health of the public because they feel that's their way of contributing to public health. Why do you think it's important that the BMA is involved with professional as well as, well as trade union activities? It's a very interesting issue when you're dealing with governments who tend to dismiss people as just a trade union. And the BMA is quite clearly not just a trade union. We're a very much more complex organisation than that. So it's difficult to dismiss us to say they're just a trade union and therefore we can't talk to them. And if we're in the room talking about public health, then they are obliged also to talk about doctors' contracts. And hopefully that means that we are better able to improve the working conditions in which doctors deliver care to their patients. What, what will happen to this report once all the press activity and headlines have passed? This report will go to ministers in all the four UK governments, it will go to senior civil servants, it will go to policy makers, it will go to individuals and it will be available free online for individuals to use. Uh, and we will be following it up, we will be saying how can we make sure that the recommendations are acted upon so that we really do something to change the nature of this epidemic, to diminish it so that we are literally saving the lives of young people. So do you think BMA reports actually have some influence in changing government policy and ultimately improving the nation's health? There's considerable evidence that our policy papers have a significant impact. We know that ministers and indeed senior civil servants, including the chief medical officers in the four countries, will refer to them. They're referred to in Parliament, in both houses of Parliament in London. Uh, people will say the BMA report says X. Because we get the science right, because we research it, because we referee it with experts outside, and therefore it's quoted. We know that in the tobacco control uh, issues, we were a, a major player in getting the government to enact legislation, and that will save lives. 100,000 people dying early every year from smoking tobacco, we need to stop that. And we need to stop the alcohol epidemic from having the same kind of effect before it reaches those scary numbers.